WatOS, the official Linux distribution that won't increase your utility bill by one cent. Hello YouTube, welcome back to an operating system review where today we're going to be looking at what OS R10. Now I did do a review on what OS R6 on a Pentium 2, but that was ages ago. Now we're four versions later, and I think it's time to take a little bit of a visit back again. So I expect it still to be lightweight and to be kind of pleasing to the eye. So you know what? Let's uh, get cracking. And here we are. This is what OS R10 and this is the vanilla look as soon as you finished installing the OS so let's go ahead and see what it's got in store for us so to begin with it's got a basic menu you got calculator key pass X leaf pads uh, leaf pad sorry passwords and keys screenshot and X archiver which is I'm pretty sure it's another it's like an equivalent of WinRAR or WinRAR so I think key pass X and passwords and keys must be the same as in a password store uh, it stores your password and this one runs with database it's a little bit more complex than the other one I'm pretty sure so let's go ahead and explore that passwords and keys and they're pretty much the same now even though those things can be very useful I would rather keep my usernames and passwords or whatever you need written down on a physical piece of paper or written quickly on Word printed on Word and not saved in the computer at all uh, best privacy is always kept in a physical copy off any computers okay so going down we have in graphics document viewer and gthumb and there's nothing in pictures and videos so this must this is probably a picture viewer going on the internet we have filezilla Firefox web browser and transmission which is your torrent client office we have again document viewer so there's two document viewers LibreOffice is not installed out of the box so you'll have to get it afterwards sound and video we have lollipop and pulse audio volume control uh, lollipop is pretty unique actually because it is much like um, what was it again G thumb yeah G thumb and this is actually a, a fairly recent I have haven't heard from Lollipop for quite a while actually and it is a very um neat looking music player and I've never really seen it and as you can see here we have a couple radio but my internet's down because the modem well I don't know I must be doing a shenanigans there's probably some renovations outside but you get the point. So you can pretty much listen to pre-selected uh, radio stations, online radio stations, and you can add new radio stations, which is good. Uh, good, excuse me. And as far for system tools, we have file manager, which is PC Man FM, of course, the package installer, HTOP, which is the system processes, and basically it is the variant of top. So boom, there you go. So as you can see here, we're not consuming a lot of RAM, so that'd be great for a system with 512 megs of RAM, which is cool. Um, pretty light on the processor itself, so once again, I'm pretty sure you can get away with a Pentium 4 or even a Pentium 3 at that point. But just don't expect a lot of uh, video playback to be great. Laptop mode tools configuration. This is probably for the laptop. Uh, let's see. This tool is running with root privileges. Well, no kidding. Oh, it has the Windows 98 uh, kind of pop-up, whatever. And there we go. We have uh, all this kind of stuff. So that's good. You can even hibernate, sleep. Pretty crazy, actually. But because we're not running on the laptop, we can't really do anything. LX Terminal is your main terminal, root file manager, and task manager. Let's see what Task Manager has in store. Huh. So we have two different kind of memory load up. Okay, so we have 318 here and 277 here. Okay. Um, I don't know which 
one's the most accurate, but we'll go with the highest one for the, for the moment being. And yes, 512 megs of RAM would be cutting it okay. You can get away with it. So enough said. Preferences. We have all, <laughs> all these again. Pretty much the same thing as Ubuntu as usual. Blah 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 blah. Synaptic software and update software updater. You can even change your screensaver. Monitor settings was a bit easier to find this time. Desktop preferences, flash player, additional drivers, customized look and feel, and all that stuff. So, run. Actually, run is a bit uh, better than I thought. Let's say, for example, you want to run, uh, let's say, Firefox. There you go. And it even changes the low, uh, the the screen icon if if there is any. But if you go like F I this actually are the available commands so it shows you a couple of commands that are available so let's say for example if I go I don't know I'm gonna go JD okay we have nothing KI kill kill all five kill all and then we have R O N run parts run level run user run con and all that stuff so run actually is a bit more helpful than I anticip anticipated and of course we have to log out which I'm not gonna click and that's it for the menu. Now for the main look and feel, we do have Trash, PC Man FM, Firefox, and Lollipop as basic shortcuts. We have Firefox also as a quick launch. We have left click to iconify all windows. Well, that doesn't do anything. So I guess if I open, like, let's say this. Well, I guess it's pretty much show desktop. Yeah, whatever. And of course, we have a terminal and PC and FM over here. Virtual desktops here. We have two by default. We have the connections set. Uh, we have uh, Ethernet, well, wired anyways. Over here, we have our speaker, the little screen lock, and the power options, which are at the bottom right. And the look and feel is pretty easy. Um, right click, desktop preferences. Uh, this is the stock wallpaper, so let's see if we have anything else. What do we have here for wallpapers? Pretty much a very, very basic. Oh, this one looks cool. Oh, nice. That's a lot more appealing to the eye, anyways. To me, anyways. But the thing is, the menu. One thing I've noticed is once you use the menu, for some reason, sometimes it doesn't seem to be quite as responsive as it used to be. You know, when I hover around, sometimes it. Um, and it doesn't show up, it's not because I'm hovering around, I'm actually clicking kind of uh, often, so sometimes it seems to be uh, a little um, lagging behind. I don't know if it's because I'm having it wrong, but when I see it go blue, it's okay, sometimes it stays black, like right now, it's black at blue, and there you go. So, I don't know what's up with that, but other than that, the system's pretty stable, so there's nothing much I can say uh, resources are pretty light so yeah well we're gonna wrap things up and uh, I'll give uh, my final thoughts and rating on it so there we go this is Wado SR10 and pretty light pretty simple still usable on older machines I would still I would still see it running on a late Pentium 3 with lots of RAM the thing is a lot of machines have that dreaded problem never enough RAM RAM is the big factor in performance not just going super zippy 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 fast because eventually you hit a you know you hit a ceiling where the processor starts to be the slow guy but the thing is insufficient RAM makes your system go down to a crawl so it is very advised that now every machine has at least 512 megs of RAM for every super lightweight distros and at least a gig to a gig and a half for a medium medium weight distro a full weight distro two gigs of ram would you'll, you yeah you'll pull fine so on my verdict this is without a doubt an 8 out of 10 now this system is very strong robust it has a great array of software that you can download from the package manager it has everything you need out of the box, less LibreOffice, but, you know. 
I only I only saw the bug in the menu where when you go and click sometimes it just doesn't pop up but just a few little bit more clicking and waiting that that should fix the problem it doesn't require a reboot or anything like that so it's just that light slight little thing but yet again I also did a vanilla install so there's no updates installed on that so that might have been resolved by now as we speak so if you have any questions comments anything you would like to add to this operating system please feel free to leave a comment down below if you have any suggestions for another distribution or any other operating system that's out there please feel free to leave a comment down below as well and of course until next time stay bold and take care.